today I wanted to do a bit of a throwback Thursday video and this is quite a throwback to Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2004 season. This was my first ever hunting game. My cousin got it for me for Christmas when I was six years old and I've got just so many fond memories of playing this game for like hours on end and I've wanted to do videos on it for a long time and I finally got a hold of it and we're finally going to do that today. So I'm going to start a career hunt. We may do a full playthrough of this. I don't really know. We'll see kind of like what you guys think of it. But we're going to go ahead and create a character. And we are going to, I think we have to go to the location first to actually get equipment. So I'm going to go into the store. I don't really know much about the game anymore. I played it so much when I was younger, but I have no idea like what we should get. But we have $4,000 and this is only five fifty. I mean, sure, we'll buy a 300 We'll buy our scopes in somewhere else, I guess. I think you need a tent. I don't know if medium weight is necessary, but it seems like give you plenty of money for stuff. We'll get probably just binoculars. I still haven't seen scopes. I think a map's a good idea. We'll get some equipment. Maybe a scope just comes with the gun. Should have paid more attention. I don't think we need any of these colors for where we're going first. So, gotta wear orange. Wait, maybe we should do medium. Mm, medium looks kind of goofy. We'll do lightweight. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're going to go with lightweight. And I suppose we should get a tag for everything. I think we ended up two doll sheep tags. Oh no, doll sheep, stone sheep, mountain goat, and grizzly. All right, so that'll be cool. I have no idea if they're all even going to be something we can find or like if I get to do multiple hunts or if they all have to be in this hunt, but we're going to jump in and start, but I guess I have to actually equip my stuff first, so maybe that's a good idea. All right, I think I have everything now, and now we can actually get into British Columbia. So I did actually choose the easy difficulty so we could have the trophy beacons on, and if you don't know what I mean, basically these red dots that are around the map kind of like highlights roughly the direction of where an animal is. And the only reason is like, there's something like 10 or 11 animals on the entire map. And I feel like trying to find them without the beacons would be relatively difficult. So at least for now, we're gonna go with them. Maybe if it's too easy, we'll end up turning them off, but we might be kind of close to this one. So we'll kind of see, I think we have a tag for every species on the map. So to start with, we can shoot anything. And you know, for a game that was made as long ago as this one was, it honestly doesn't look too bad. I'm actually playing it in 4K, which I find to be kind of hilarious, but I am pretty sure there's not a whole lot of other places this animal could be because there's kind of a huge mountain there and I think we're likely at the edge of the map. Oh yeah. So we spooked whatever it is, but they actually don't run very far either. At least maybe we can get a better look at it if it comes up here into the open. But I think we're shooting it regardless. And it looks to be probably a doll sheep. Let's see if we can get it. Actually, the scope movement's pretty smooth. I'm surprised. Ooh. All right. Not the best shot, but apparently that's a kill shot, so sure. But I think that's a little one. Probably could have looked for bigger, but honestly, I have no idea, like, what I'm looking for. That is a, does it even say? Yeah, doll sheep. I assume a little one, because I'm pretty sure they should definitely get bigger. I assume they can look something like that. But that is our doll sheep. So we'll see if we can get a, I guess, stone sheep, mountain goat, or grizzly now. Okay, so there is something there. I don't know for sure that it's a mountain goat, but I kind of think it is. But I'd like to know for sure, just so I'm not getting in trouble with wardens and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely a mountain goat. And an actual good shot. I kind of like the bullet cam, but um, I don't know. It's not as fancy as some of the bullet cams that would come after this one. And I got no clue if this is like a big goat or not. I don't know really that they'd get a whole lot bigger. But it's an easy skill level. I don't even remember in this game 
like if the uh, skill level is specifically for the species or if it's like animal specific. But that's two tags filled. Something is running up this hill. Oh, it's a bear actually. Maybe we can go ahead and get that. I don't know if it's actually maybe charging me as well, because I know Cabela's games like to uh, have animals do that. You may not fire your weapon after 6 p.m. I oh. must warn you. Well, I didn't know that. There's not even a clock. How am I supposed to know? So I wonder if I can recover that eventually. And also, how does setting my tent up and resting till morning work? I don't have a clue. I clicked on the tent. Do I just set it up anywhere? I guess I do. How do I know what time it is, though? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I kind of feel like 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. is a thing. Now, I don't know if this bear is going to be disqualified, but he did die. Now, the question is, does this get disqualified or whatever? I don't think so. Filled my tag. That's kind of weird. Maybe it's because it died after I started resting or whatever, but I did realize you can use space to know what time it is, so at least we can keep track of that now. I don't know if I want to shoot it. That's a little stone sheep, but it's just a female. I feel like we can do better. I didn't really know what I was doing when I shot the doll sheep. I want to get a bigger one. I don't even know, like, if there are area-specific things. Like, maybe these other animals over here are going to be stone sheep, too. I kind of hope so, but I don't want to... I don't want to shoot a tiny one for everything. I actually want to look for bigger animals, because I know they're out here. Ooh, that's actually, like, a pretty big stone sheep. I don't know if I should have just taken that shot. Looks like he's kind of slowing down right around that mountain. That's the thing I wanted to look for. The thing is, we're going to be pushing 6 o'clock again by the time I get over there. Unless I kind of hurry and just hope he doesn't spook. Because the time scale is like, it seems like a minute in real life is about an hour in game. So we have maybe like 3 or 4 minutes. So we'll try to push it and get a shot because otherwise we're going to have to like, wait overnight and he'll move again. Alright, he should be close. Yeah, he's right there. Finally. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been on just the stone sheep tag, but it's been a while. But I think, or at least I assume we get to move on and go to a new area now. Actually got a nice curl to him. A little bit of a weird looking face, but you know, that's alright. So he's still skill level easy. I'm guessing that is a, um, like, species-specific thing. I have no idea what the score means, to be honest. But, uh, do we then... Yeah. All right, we just get to head to the main menu, and let's see if we unlock a new area, then. You have enough trophies to unlock the next hunting location. All right, so maybe you need to shoot one of everything. But we get to go to Alaska, so there's going to be Sitka Blacktail... Moose and polar bear. All right, we're definitely doing this. I didn't know for sure if I was going to do um, another region in this video, but we are. By the way, the textures get screwed up, so I'll have to fix that when we get into the next hunt. But I think maybe we should just get a higher temperature or higher warmth tent. Everything else is probably okay. Oh, and we need tags. So we got one of everything for that. We'll get the... Heavyweight tent, and probably heavier clothing. And like I said, the textures get weird, but I will fix those once we uh, get into the game. Now, since we didn't get to see what the texture looked like to the clothing, this is our heavy orange clothes. Not bad. And we're in Alaska. Kind of cool. All right, so I don't know if polar bears... Let's take a look at the map, actually. Or take a drink. I guess that switched how my backpack was. 
That was F2 now. Well, the good thing is I drank all my water already. So I wonder if polar bears only live like up here or like how that works. I guess we'll try to find out. We'll try to mainly head north. So whatever this is has to be literally like right in front of us. But there's all kinds of trees and stuff in the way. So I don't know. Hopefully it just doesn't notice us. We shouldn't have to go too much further. At least to know what it is. It's definitely a black tail. It is a buck, and I don't know how big they get. I'm guessing not a whole lot bigger than that, because it's a Sitka deer. I could be wrong. But also, they're definitely the animal I care least about on this map, so... We're going to get that one and then try to get a moose and a polar bear, because I definitely want to see... Really, the polar bear the most, because as much as I remember playing this game when I was younger... I was terrified of, like, any animal that might try to kill me. So, uh, I, like, would not go after bears. And I really don't even remember polar bears being in this game. Side note, if the scoring is anything like the Hunter Classic, that was a huge one. I'm guessing it's not, but worth noting, I guess. Huh. There's a polar bear just chilling inland. All right. Oh, gosh. Why did that hit so low? Is he mad at me? Honestly, I have no idea. I think he is. Let's see if he comes up here. He's 100% getting closer. Oh. That was pretty good. I don't know if that's big, but it looks large to me. To be fair, every non- antlered animal might have the exact same model in this game, but I wonder if it even says anywhere, like male or female, or if the scoring makes sense as to what would be a big polar bear. Uh, animal polar bear trophy score is 34. Again, I mean, I think that's big. It should be. If it's kind of realistic measurements. Happy with that one. Oh, hello. That might actually be a... Nope, that's a good moose, though. I don't know. I should probably have gone to the target range at some point. But I knew we were getting close to um, the end of the legal shooting light, so took that shot really quick. Anyway, we're going to go to the target range after this place because I do think my gun's actually off the more I uh, consider it. we got time to get a follow-up shot on this guy if we need to. I think every wounding shot will kill them eventually, but I'm not 100% on that. I got one bullet left. Sweet. Honestly, Alaska took like 15 minutes. British Columbia took me like about 45 or 50. I'm quite confident that's a big moose. Trophy score of 144. It's just width, height, and the actual width of the paddle itself. So they don't score those. I probably shouldn't read too much into the scoring, but... I mean... Total width of 35, you would think is actually low? But who knows? Who knows what the uh, scoring thing is? But yeah. That is all of Alaska. So we're going to go to the target range. We're going to hopefully fix our gun. And then we're going to Alberta next. I don't even know if I can go to the target range, actually. I also didn't realize I could change the season. But... We'll go ahead and see what tags there are for this place. And again, the uh, textures are mess up. So there's a wolf tag, a bighorn tag. Wait, four wolf tags, a bighorn tag, and a woodland caribou tag. So that's probably going to be for next time. I'm going to see if I can figure out the gun thing. And I don't even know if you do need to sight them in. But it feels like my gun has been consistently hitting like a little bit left. So I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I'm very interested to see if you guys do want to see like a full playthrough of this. Because to be honest, I think I would enjoy it. We could do it like every Thursday so it wouldn't be like a ton of like non-Call the Wild content or whatever. But I would 100% be interested in trying to do more videos in this. Because I enjoy it and it's a good break from like the normal on the channel so yeah let me know in the comments and thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time